Hi, this is Sunil Manji, Principal SC at Cloudera. Today I'll be reviewing using the new Airflow UI to design a, a, a workflow. And also uh, within that workflow, I will be using Airflow's trigger capability. And the trigger capability essentially is that if, if a certain condition is met, success and failure, it's pretty simple. Uh, what to do. So if success happens, go, go here. If we hit failure, go somewhere else. This is different than the branching operator that I reviewed previously. The branching operator is any arbitrary logic, business logic that you can uh, create inside of the DAG that says, hey, if, uh, if I hit certain conditions, the output of some business logic is X, go do that. And if the output of business logic is Y, go do this, or go do that, excuse me. It's basically if then else logic, right? Much more advanced than the things you can do within the branch operator. This is simply using Airflow's native uh, triggers. And that's what we're gonna review here, and also the new UI. To get to this, you go to uh, obviously CDP into data engineering. I'm gonna click on my data engineering cluster, which is here. And I'm going to look up my view jobs. <clears throat> Inside of jobs, the pieces that I am uh, interested in is uh, the jobs that I'm interested in is the job carry on, handle failure, and um, stage data. Those are the three jobs that, that I'm going to be using within my new Airflow deck. So again, stage data, carry on, and handle failure. We'll talk about how they're used in the DAG. So let's create a new Airflow DAG. I'm going to call this my, my new DAG. And here you can provide it a file, your DAG, upload it here. You can give it a resource which exists within the resource folder, or you can use the new editor capabilities to drag and drop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And now that the UI is available, couple of things that we need to review, which is you can execute a shell script, a Cloudera data engineering job, a Cloudera data warehousing query, or a Python script, right? And this, these capabilities will continue to expand. Uh, but for this demonstration, let's click on CD job. I'm gonna drag and drop that over. And the job that I wanna first run, it's stage data. Right? I wanna first run that job. And the next job I want to run is carry on. I know it's, the names are silly here. And the last job I want to run is handle failure. So again, first job, stage data. Second job, carry on. Third job, handle failure. So I'm going to drag and drop and connect these tasks to the, to the parent task. I want in this scenario, the job carry on to only advance if the parent task, which is stage data, is successful. And how I do is I click on the carry on job or the task, and it already says if all are successful. So we don't have to make any change here. This is by default. However, the next job, which is called handle failure, uh, we want to only execute if the parent task has failed. So I click on, obviously, the job, and I click on advanced, and I click on one failed. Uh, this is well documented within Airflow, uh, Apache Airflow site, so I'm not going to review each one, but you know you can select all failed. For example, you may have many parent tasks. In this, I have a one parent task. I'll just select one. So if that fails, if my parent task fails, I want this job to execute, which is the handle failure. You click on save, and what this is doing through the UI is it's creating the DAG in the back end, right? Basically, the Python script or the Python DAG. And once this is available, we'll go and look at the, the UI. So now it says pi pipeline job has sa uh, saved. And click on the UI, click on the graph view here. You go, okay, yeah, cool. This, this meets my expectations. It's pretty simple. You can go back in the editor and make some changes if you want to. But in this, in this scenario, pretty simple. I have a job, which is called stage data. If it's successful, go to the next step. Uh, or if it's failure, uh, go to carry on. And if uh, the stage data job is not successful, then go to handle failures. So let's go to jobs again. Here's my new DAG. Obviously, this is the one I created through the UI. And I'm going to go and execute that. 
right? And you can you can create schedules and all that. We're not reviewing that in this in this recording here. I'm gonna run that now. I'm gonna go to job runs, and you can see here immediately the Airflow job. You can say type job, and the first job that should kick off any moment now, the DAG is going to say the first uh, the first node in the DAG is to stage data. We'll see that in just a moment. Just refreshing my scheme, screen. Okay, there you go. So here we have my DAG running and stage data. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to force this job to fail. I'm going to kill it. And why I'm doing this is because I want the DAG to see that I um, that there's a failure within the node. The parent task is stage data. And what should happen now if this successfully orchestrates in the manner I designed it is that the next task should be handle failures. And I'm just refreshing my screen. Right now the DAG is still running. It's probably processing. And there you go. So here I failed the parent's uh, node task, which is stage data, and immediately went to handle failure. Obviously, if it would have been successful, the job that would have executed was carry on. In this scenario, that was not the case. And that's it. That's the end of the demonstration. What we what I reviewed today is within Clutter Data Engineering, we use the new Airflow UI to design our workflow and pipeline. And within that pipeline, we use the very simple Airflow trigger that says what to do if a, if a parent test fails or if a parent test is successful. Pretty simple stuff. Hope you have fun. Thanks for listening.